Controversy in paradise. A contentious battle between a hotel developer and the city of St. Pete Beach continues at this hour. It's the ongoing fight over a proposal to build two new waterfront hotels. And this is Nightside. I'm Dave Wagner. Now, if approved, it would expand the Serrata Beach Resorts property and bring in 420 additional hotel rooms. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido is live at that meeting, still underway right now. And Angie, it's packed with neighbors voicing their concerns. And Dave, this meeting started at four this afternoon. Six hours later, it is still going on. It's been a long and tedious process to try and make sure that everyone's questions and concerns are addressed, but also to see if a vote can happen and this proposal can be passed. Tonight, though, one thing is clear. This city's vision comes first. And is more so the plans for each building. And we're still impacting more, right? The, the north end of the property. You have an opportunity to make it better for the neighbors. Question after question. You're going to have to just trust us that we know what we're doing. Okay? Led to frustration boiling over. Okay. So what we're trying to get here is a good understanding of what you can do or accomplish for our city. Columbia Sussex staff challenge on all fronts from transportation to design and the sustainability of their proposed development on the Serrata Beach Resorts property. Neighbors concerned with the changes it would bring. 12 stories high, fill it all out, block our view, change the whole character of St. Pete Beach. Quaint and family friendly, now we're turning it into huge, massive, Character, characterless buildings up and down the beach. Within their concerns, traffic and safety with an increase of tourism and an impact on the environment. The proposal would add two new waterfront hotels, a 290 room JW Marriott, the other a 130 room Hampton Inn. This is just one of a start of the process. With no concrete answer yet, neighbors are left in limbo. Now, public comment did just start right before we came on air. They did vote to stop this meeting at 1 a.m., very similar to the previous meeting that happened last year in November. Another thing that concerned neighbors tonight was a lawsuit that they say was filed against the city commissioners and the mayor as well, saying that the, commission, the commissioners were not elected onto this board, so they shouldn't have a say in this decision. For the mayor, they say he has a personal connection that would make him biased against the developer in this case. So so they wanted to take him out and have him not have a say in this. That was addressed at the beginning of the meeting. He said that he does not have any personal connection that would sway his answer one way or another. In St. Pete Beach, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.